Hello, what's up guys? What's poppin'? How y'all doing today? Um, today I've got y'all, I've got for y'all a Valentine's Day tutorial. It's just a pinky kind of look. It's super simple, super easy. I honestly fell in love with how it came out. Um, if y'all want to see how to get this simple Valentine's Day look. Almost broke my finger. Um, just keep watching. My lips have been super dry just because of the weather and the fact that I've been sick. So blowing my nose, always like rubbing just my lip area with like a tissue or a napkin or whatever, like dried them out so much. So prime them with anything you got, anything that just nourishes and moisturizes your lips. I usually like to put that on before anything, just in case at the end we do put on lipstick. Usually I don't, but if that's something that y'all do, Y'all go ahead and do that. So the one that I used is the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. It's just in one of these little canisters. Um, it's our holiday party. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to film something today for y'all. So going on with brows, I'm using the Anastasia 7B brush and the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in the shade 30. So in like a minute, you guys are going to see me trip off about how my eyebrows look. And I don't explain it, but I'm letting my eyebrows grow. I haven't um, gotten them done since November. We are now in January. And I'm just going to do that until I feel like I'm more comfortable with how they look. Um, as I'm brushing on, the, on my brows, I don't just go up. I'm like twisting it as I'm brushing it. All right, I mean. Okay, I'm using NYX Full Coverage Concealer and an Anastasia 20 brush. It's just a flat brush. And so I'm just gonna clean it up because this shit's a mess. So right now I'm going in with the Real Technique brush. It's a fluffy dome brush and we're just using that to buff out the concealer. We'll come back. Whatever. Uh, we're back. <laughs> um, this brow actually didn't go that bad. This. I think we did something good here. I know I kind of want to do a Valentine's Day kind of look, but I'm actually not sure. Whatever. The sun is not playing right now. So I think I'm just going to go with the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. This is what it looks like. But we're going to try it out today. We're going to see. This sun is no joke. Um, We're just going to see see what pops up i don't really know exactly like i said what i'm gonna film i just know that i want it to be kind of like a valentine's day look so let's just see what let's just see what this mind creates because this girl ain't that creative to be honest okay grab any type of concealer eyeshadow primer whatever you got i have the morphe eyelid primer but to be honest i don't think it makes the colors pop try it out today to see maybe i'm just not using it right i don't know is there a white right a white way a white way to use it like thank you mr sun for shining so bright and giving me light because a girl don't have lighting this is just not it as long as y'all are able to see what i'm doing which i pray and i hope that you guys are just because i know that this isn't the idea filming situation gotta work what you got and this is what i got so we're gonna work with it okay so i'm gonna what color do i want to go in with with the morphe m70 to 8 it's literally m170-8 i'm gonna pick up the color clove which is gonna be this that color oh there we go 
that color right there. And we're just gonna pat it on the, here, we're gonna pack it there. Bro, you need a mirror. There. So what I was starting to notice right here was that the shadow wasn't like super, super pigmented. Like it was light, it's definitely, um, a buildable shadow, but it's not going to be super um, super pigmented off the bat. And I'm just going to keep packing that on here. So again, we're going in with the shade Clove, and we're just packing that onto our inner corner. I think the whole fact that I don't really know what to talk about is because just really nothing's going on in my life. And I don't even know if people are even going to be watching this, but if there's one person, hey, boo. Thank you for being here. It's a pretty color. I don't really do pinks, but it's a cute color. And we're going to do it to the other side as well. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Yes, the golden sun. Sun. Please shine right on me. Please shine right on me. Okay. So we pretty much got it on both of the inner corners next I'm gonna go in probably using the same brush just cuz just cuz I'm gonna go in with the color tangerine which is this color right here and we're pretty much gonna do the same process to it on the midsection so in between those points there um the end we're gonna do something else so the tangerine I'm lit I'm just picking it up on the brush and just pressing it down. So fallout is normal. I don't I don't really care unless it's like super hella dusty then I'm going to trip off, but if not like I don't really care. I'm going to jump on and do the side and then come back. So the sun came back in all that I did this eye. I'm just trying to speed through this video because it's, it's hard. Um, so with the same M170. Okay, where'd it go? Got it. I'm sorry if the light's everywhere in this video. So that's kind of what it is. I've got the color Clove, right? Clove right here, tangerine in the inner, I mean in the outer. No, girl, you really mean mid. And then for the final outer third, it's, I'm going to go with that color called Rose. It's a shimmer. It's not even a matte. I think it's a shimmer. Yeah, it's a shimmer, but it's okay. Or at least I hope it's okay. And I'm still going to keep using that brush, and I'm still just... This one doesn't even seem to have any fallout. Well, at least when I'm picking up the shade. We'll see how it works. Okay, I'm hoping I can see. Mm, this will not get pigmented. Probably because it's a shimmer. Maybe I just need to wet it. I'm sorry if I don't talk. I forget, like, this is the eye where I should be talking. Um, I just get so into it that I just don't really know what to say. Um, so just packing that color on. I don't know if I like that wing look. Mm. I might take that off. But I love the colors of our freaking skin. And then the same thing on this side. Okay, and we're all packed. With the brush... Morphe M14 brush. I'm going to go in with the color. I think I'm just going to go in with Clove. I'm just picking some color up. Trying to mask the one that was under there. Dust it off, I guess. And then just blend it out. Just to soften everything. To be honest, I kind of like the way it looked before I softened it up. Pretty simple. 
So as I'm blending, if I blend anything too much that I don't really like, I'm just going to go in with a brush and just touch up anything. I really like the way that this came out. Um, I think we're done with the eyes. I kind of really like how this came out. Okay, I just dusted off that little fallout. But I really like the way it came out. Here we go. So I guess let's just start getting into the face. I got a sample of the Bobbi Brown face base um, from Sephora, so I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Mm, this looks good. I'm just going to use the end of my lash thing to scoop it because I don't really want to get up in there. I don't even know how much of it you're supposed to use. Oops, that's so dumb. So far, it smells heavenly. It smells so freaking good. Oh, it smells like oranges. And it's definitely not a thin base, but it's not thick. It's not. I personally love thick and heavy to an extent. To an extent. I love, um, like the CeraVe moisture cream. What was it called? Like that one's thick, but like it's like a good kind of thick. I don't know, it just feels bomb. Oh, it smells like oranges. I love it. I love when my base is like tacky. Because I've had like gel primers and it just leaves my face all wet and I don't like that. This is my go-to foundation. Oop, not this shade. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Thick Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I don't even know if this is my color. Is it too white? Probably. We'll see. This might be too white. But I know the next shade that I have is too dark. So let me just show you something hella white. I should have probably stopped when I thought it was too white. But I just kept going. Um, I'm going to try mixing it with the shade Gold Tan. Maybe together. Would be better. There's probably a lot of foundation to be even putting on my face anyway, but, you know, I'm still gonna do it. I honestly really love this blue beauty blender. Beauty blenders are pricey. I give it to y'all. But this blue one, honestly, I absolutely love. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural. I don't know if y'all have ever tried these concealers. They're honestly really good. I love them. And I'm just gonna start creating that nose contour as well. I am clearly not a pro makeup artist. So if you think I am, get out. I do this though when I contour to like smoothen out. Ooh, my best friend, ah, my best friend got me these little sponges for Christmas, and I think they're cute. So I'm gonna try them out actually right now. Shout out to you, Loops. Love you. I really like the sponge. It's actually super smooth. I don't know where she got it. Um. And I'm a cream contour kind of person, and I have the KVD shade light cream one. Um, I got this brush. It's a angled flat brush. I got it in a BH Cosmetics set, the like bronze one. Um, it was like one of the first brush sets I ever got. Baby bangs. Covering up my double chin. <laughs> Making some chisel chins. Um, I got this brush from Unicorn Cosmetics in a set. 
and I'm just using the foundation brush and I literally just buff up. Okay, we're getting some color, some pigment to this pale, uneven foundation color. <laughs> I do go pretty rough with this process. To bake, I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I think it's in the color translucent. So I'm just going to blend out the concealer that already creased. I'm just gonna pick it up on the flat side of this little cute ass sponge and pack it on there. So same thing on the other side. And then Do you bake? Yes, I do. <laughs> I really, you see? Well, I have to do these smile lines because your girl got that harsh line. So I just leave this crazy ass looking thing um, until I do my lashes and I do this bronzy thing. I'm going in with this busted, beat up old ass NYX. Highlight and Contour Pro palette. Um, and I'm just going to use this shade. I don't know what they're called. They're like on the back and they're like listed all weird. And please be careful with these things. They are so pigmented. Like I can't even stress how pigmented they are. And then I have another little flush, fluffy, flushy, flushy, fluffy brush from the um, BH set. And I pretty much just go over that. I know my nose is looking really dark, but once we dust off this powder stuff, it's going to look less crazy. I'm going in with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. Bomb. That's all I really got to tell y'all. It's so bomb, it's so bomb, it's so bomb. I love it. I literally only wear this. I don't even wear lashes. I might not even wear lashes. My coworkers don't see me in makeup. They see me busted as fuck every single day. And I mean busted. Y'all see what I look like at the beginning of this video? Like, who's that and then who's this? Damn, my sister got selected. Her first time ever doing jury duty and she got selected. Sucks to suck, bro. I'm excited. Look at you. All, this is my natural lash. Like, it's all me, man. It's all me. Under a thousand pounds of makeup. <laughs> Dude, these eyelashes. Bless. Um, once I do that, I set my eyebrows with that same mascara. With whatever leftover product I have on the wand, I'll just go in. And grew my brows. I'm not gonna do eyelashes because my natural ones look good. Okay, but at this point we're gonna just dust away all the um powder. And I use this broken uh spectrum brush. It came in the pink set. I'll have everything listed at the bottom. I go into the busted beat up ass Anastasia X Nicole Guerrero palette. Clearly, I have a favorite, and that's Glow Getter. Go get her, baby. Today, just because I have this pink look, I might do Daydream, Kitty Cat, and Forever Lit. So that's going to be Daydream, Kitty Cat, Forever Lit. This is the brush that I use. It's just, I don't know. But it's from that Unicorn Cosmetic um, set. You see, just something super subtle is what I normally go for. I don't do anything too crazy. Um, okay, going in with Daydream. I love inner corner highlight. I live for that moment. 
just a cute little moment, you know? Or maybe just a little bit right there. So I do a two-step kind of setting. I go in with the Mario Badesco Lavender Spray. I feel like this one melts into my skin and just brings everything together. And um, I go in with like a setting. So this is the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. And then this is the final look. Thank you so much for those watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Um, tag me in recreations that you guys make. Or not, if you decide not to recreate this. Um, My final step. Not necessarily yours. Unless it is, then... Bye, guys. Deuces. Oh, my God. Bro. This lighting is just no joke. Up there. Girl, you responded a day late. Get out. You know, but oh, I should have probably concealed those pencils. Dirty ass brush. Ah! You wanna walk around, Raj? Let's just film me. Let's just film you, Mondo. Oh, ah. We're going to rock, Mom, okay? Oh, Ooh. Excuse me. I do wear glasses. Um,. My muscles. If I don't do my makeup, what a fuck. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Blah, 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 blah. Mm.